Thanks. Just the way you want it. <laughs> five four, can you copy? Five four, will you ten nine the address of the complainant? One fourteen, Roscoe Boulevard. I'm an air pollution inspector. My job is to uncover sources of air pollution, control it where possible, and eliminate it if I can. And that's a big job. That's why I like it. Well, I came from a rural town in Texas. The air smelled like pine needles. There's a lot of pine trees in my part of Texas. And I miss the smell quite a bit. I miss the smells of spring, the smells of autumn, as well as the smells of summer. And I would imagine the children all born here, they don't miss it because they never had it. I go to smoke school to train my eyes to look at smoke to tell whether it's violating the law or not. Until you get the hang of it, smoke just looks like smoke. That's why the smoke school test is so tough. When I want you to record on your paper, I'll ring the bell. Begin reading right now. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Passing smoke school means I can testify in court against polluters. But I gotta catch them first. as being more of a salesman than a cop, really. You really do a good job. Right on the money. I'm trying to sell an idea of let's do something about the pollution in our air. This is your number six. How did it run on the test when you put some cans in it? Good. 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 Quite anxious to see that number six. Had a lot of little problems with it. <laughs> Getting it all squared away. I hope in the not too distant future that won't be any need for people that hold jobs like I got. You may say I'm just working myself out of a job. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as a, something that needs to be done, and it has to be done now. You see? My children may be surprised to know they were born in a very, very beautiful valley. And we're just hoping that the air will get clean enough someday they'll be able to see it. Don't hurt no more? <laughs> 